This week on Tips, Tricks, and Practice Routine. Bag grips. Two, we have two, two totally different uh, styles and how they react. You know, what you can do with them, if anything at all. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna throw, show you how, actually I see a lot of people still throw, and I used to throw the bag. I used to hold it like that. It's kind of like this. And what I noticed I had a problem with is the bag coming in at an angle and usually at the Mosin Op time you would get a hook off that angle. So you want to try to reduce the angle, you know, having your bag come in at an angle. So a different style is definitely something you're going to want. Uh, what I ended up doing is I've, you know, just watched some different throwers and I started grabbing the bag just like this. Basically I've created a little handle. And I grab it like that. And what you can do, what's nice about this throw, is I can grip it nice and tight. And I can create a nice, a pretty flat bag, considering I normally do not throw a real flat bag. And Definitely that one, not. That one does pretty good. But with this grip, if I loosen that grip, I can get this little flop like this coming through the air, which will help on fast boards, because that, that little you know, wiggle like that will help slow the bag down. So that's, that's our two grips. Uh, one is a handle. I say I really like this throw. It's kind of resemblance of a That's the one head. he does most often. He throws a wounded duck. Wounded duck if I'm not too tight. But if I'm having problems with a floppy bag, what I'll do is I'll go to a sticky side. And that makes you force yourself to throw a flatter bag. If you got any questions, ask us. And we'll elaborate a little bit more on it. Thanks, guys. We're going to go into her bag a little bit, how she grips it, and what it does for or what it don't do for. Well, I, um, I, I don't really grip it so much. I more or less pinch my bag. I pinch it pretty good, actually. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Get a better... Um, hold the bag just see, like you throw. This is how I hold my bag. Yikes. It's, um, it's more of a pinch. Like that could hurt. And um, every time before I throw... I have to make sure that the beads, pellets, whatever is in the bag, corn, whatever it is, is down in the palm of my hand. Just like that, every bag. Now, it work, It helps me throw a very flat bag. Um, I throw a very flat bag. But if you were to put me on bouncy boards or anything like that, and that changes things a little bit. I, my bags definitely bounce, um, so I have to... Loosen up my grip the best I can in hopes that um, I don't bounce anymore, which is very hard for me to do, being that I really pinch my bag. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the way you hold your bag, the way you throw your bag, it all gets affected one way or another. So um, we just have to uh, make do, but I settled in with this, and this is the way I do things. So Very nice, very nice. You have one of the most beautiful bags in the game. Uh, crazy uh, handle the way you hold the bag, but it works for. Her. And it works for uh, me. <laughs> everything it's gonna as we go through things, you can copy some things, but there's some things you're gonna realize that you cannot copy, and uh, you want to feel comfortable more than anything in the box. You want to be comfortable, uh, but there are some techniques that you can, you can pick up from others. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week. Take care.